Hi, this is George Cow, and I'm here with one of my virtual coworkers, Patty. Hi, Patty. Hi, George. Thanks for being here. So uh, I'm going to let her do her own work uh, while I continue recording this. So I'm going to uh, put my mic off here in the screen. So you all can still hear me on the screencast. Um, so what virtual coworking is, is uh, where I arrange with another person. Uh, they can be anywhere in the world, any time zone. And they are working on their own projects, their own work, uh, their own business, while I am also working on my own projects and work and my own business. And even though we are working on separate projects, the fact that we are here at the computer doing our own work and we see the other person doing the work has a powerful accountability effect that is hard to um, explain until you actually experience it. So if you've never experienced virtual co-working, I highly recommend that you give it a try. There is a website called Focusmate, which helps you to easily find uh, a virtual coworker. And I'll link the, the uh, website in the notes of this video, you, you, or you can Google Focusmate. It's one word. And um, when you arrange with your coworker, you'll come into this a room that looks like this. And if your coworker is uh, making some typing sounds that you don't want to hear, you can mute her uh, from your side by moving your mouse over her video and clicking on the mute icon, which is here. Okay, so now I've muted her audio, so I can't hear her audio. Now, um, you might want to mention to your uh, partner in advance that you prefer to work silently, so uh, you're, you're going to mute her audio, or she can mute herself. You can see that I've muted myself using the mic on, mic off button down here. I've already clicked on it, so it's a slash through it, so that means my mic is off for Patty. She can't hear me right now, even though you all can here on the screencast. And then the other thing I've done is I've clicked on the the uh, my, the the chat button on the bottom right, which opens up the chat panel with me and Patty. And typically, the way that I work with virtual coworkers, and this is what the website Focusmate recommends, is that you actually chat in the beginning just a little bit to say hello and to to type what you're going to be working on for the time being. And once you finish that project, you can type the next action you're working on, and just kind of an ongoing. They might do the same thing. Uh, but let me show you how I arrange my my computer windows uh, for virtual co-working because I find that a lot of people don't realize that they can make their computer screen more productive for virtual co-working. So first thing that I do is I shrink my browser window to, to have some space on the right-hand side of the screen. So let me show you how I do that. Just click and drag either the top right or the top left of your browser window. So click and drag this, and I'm just going to make about that much space on the right-hand side. And then the second thing I do is I make this video window a separate window, video tab. So I, I click and drag the tab out, click and drag the tab out, and then that makes it into a separate window. And then I rearrange this window from the bottom left. I click and drag the bottom left so that I'm able to see the chat and I'm able, whoops, see now I can't see the chat. So I want to be able to see the chat, the full chat, and to be able to see Patty, or at least some of my <laughs> virtual coworker, I can see her there, and uh, and then I can of course rearrange this window so I can fully see her there. Uh, I don't have to see myself, um, but I can see her, and I can whoops, put that back here. I can still see her, and I can still have enough space on this. Most of my screen is still be able to work on my own work here. And the second thing, the next thing I do is I, I go to what's called tomato timer, tomato-timer.com, which is a way to kind of keep myself focused in 25 minute chunks of work, which I find really helpful. Uh, you may do it differently. There is another um, free timer called timer tab, timer-tab.com, which allows you to set um, this is the seconds, this is the minutes, so you could, you, if you prefer to work in terms of, you know, 45 minutes or whatever, you can do type 45 minutes there and click on start countdown and, and, and start it that way. And there's, there's, you know, it, it gives you a timer right in the, right in the tab there. But I, I prefer to, tomato timer. It's really simple. It comes with 25 minutes right away. And I can also take a short break. So what I do is I click and drag this time, tomato timer and I put it on the side and again, I shrink it. So that I'm only seeing the 20. Okay, I have to scroll down here so I can see the 25 minutes. Okay, shrink that a little bit, and then I click and drag this so that it's here. 
my coworker is there. And when I'm ready to work in 25 minute chunk, I click on Pomodoro again to start the timer. And then I work focused in a focused way for 25 minutes on whatever it is I'm working on. And once the timer goes off, I can click on short break to take a five minute break. And at that point, I will let my, you know, my coworker know, um, taking a five minute break, press enter. Uh, and that way, uh, she knows that I'll, I'll be right back. And once the break is finished, I come back and I remind her again what I'm working on and I go from there. So I highly recommend that you give um, Focusmate and, and virtual co-working a try. It's been really helpful and I use it almost every day actually when I'm working, uh, whenever I have a, a, a slot, when I'm don't not meeting with a client or something like that. I, I work on my own projects. And um, anyway, any questions you have, you can comment below this video or um, give it a try and maybe I will see you on Focusmate as well. Take care.